Hey everybody, welcome back. We're over in the fab shop working on some shock mounts for Scott Scrambler. These are the originals. And you can see they're rusted out. And the bad thing about these is when they're sitting up against a frame like that, this area is just wide open for mud and junk and everything. Now, if you've been following along on Scott Scrambler, you know that his frame was a little bit compromised behind the shock mount. These were so packed with stuff, I had to take a hammer and uh, chisel all the mud and junk out of there. Uh, it's just a horrible design, and we're not going to uh, go through that again. So, here is my uh, heavy-duty shock mount. We've got a quarter inch plate that bolts to the frame. Two by two square tube quarter inch wall. And nothing can get in here. When this is sitting against the frame, there's nothing that's going to get in there. So I just finished welding these guys up. Uh, I still got to dress everything, smooth everything out. I did put a um, new shock rod in here. I just I, I got some 4140 there. Threaded it for a half 20 nut. Gave the proper one and a quarter inch for the shock, uh, the standoff, and I'll get these ground up and uh, and um, get them some epoxy, epoxy primer got a left and a right here. These are completely water and junk proof. Um, and like I say, they're, they're super heavy duty and they will not rust out the frame. The shock mount won't go to hell and this is actually like a, that quarter inch plate is actually like a structural piece. When we get that all bolted up, uh, I won't have any worries about that compromised frame behind there. So, from that, to that, and these you can see, pretty sad shape. These will be with that vehicle for the, for the life of it. Scott, you could go through mud bogs or whatever, and you won't have to worry about any junk getting between the shock mount and the frame. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you today. Just a little tip. If you guys want to make those yourself, they're not too terrible to make. Uh, if you're handy with uh, cutting and welding and stuff like that, and you've got a lathe and you can thread some shock mounts, you can whip these guys up yourself. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.